Und damit heiße ich euch herzlich willkommen zurück im Büro. <lacht> ja, das letzte Mal sind wir einfach mal zerquetscht worden. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Und hier was Neues. Sehr geil. Irgendwann werden wir auch draußen mal Wetter sehen. Ich bin mir sicher. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Äh, zwei Dinge. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Hm, macht er nämlich. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Jetzt bin ich gespannt. Yet there was not a single person here either. Denn eigentlich müsste sich jetzt das Pro geändert haben. Ich, ich wetze jetzt gerade mal so ein bisschen durch. Oh Mist, hat es nicht. What? Warum geht denn die jetzt auf? Die ging nie auf. What? Gänsehaut-Feeling. <lacht> Wo geht's jetzt schon wieder hin? Ist das geil! <lacht> Zweite Etage, Herrenunterwäsche. Dritte Etage, Baby zugehört. Vierte Etage, Schreibwaren. Fünfte Etage, Sexspielzeug. Sechste Etage PC spiele. What? Was ist das für ein sinnfreier Fahrstuhl? Was wohl passiert, wenn ich... Nein, ich werde draufdrücken und rausgehen. Geht nicht, ich kann da nicht durch diesen Alpha-Wand. Back gefunden. So habt ihr den also animiert. Ah, ist cool, dass sie wirklich nicht zugeht, ne, wenn man hier so drin steht. Hoch runter, hoch runter. Was? So, was haben wir hier noch Schönes? Alles im Arsch, keiner mehr da. Da ist das wunderschöne Bild. Und da ist der Panda, den hatte ich gesucht vorhin. So, Stanley kommt in den Raum. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud, 
to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. St Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was 2845, it would be another story entirely. But no, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Natürlich. Absolutes Glück nenne ich das. Mein Gott, er sagt Glück, ich nenne das natürlich Skill. So, wollen wir doch mal gucken, was in der äh, äh, Mining Control drin ist. Aber wie sind wir denn in das andere Büro gekommen? Was ist hier los? Kein schlechtes Gefühl? Nichts? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nein. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Kameras, 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 drücken wir mal drauf, mal gucken wir mal. Frage, welches ist unserer? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be ah. true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Unbelievable, müssen wir gleich mal nachgucken, ob da wirklich die Kamera no. ist. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Erstmal alle Knöpfe drücken. So wie sich das gehört. Ist hier eins? Gucken, was passiert. Console disable. Okay. Das hat das noch? Oh, hier haben wir noch Lila. Den hatten wir noch nicht. Ich frage mich nur, was bringt das? Also es ist jetzt nicht so, dass ich da nicht überall drauf drücke. Okay, ich habe nichts, kenne ich da. 
Eins, zwei. Habe ich gedrückt. Hier ist Nummer drei. Wahrscheinlich muss ich erst den großen roten drücken und dann die Zahlen, aber... Wo ist die 4? Wo ist die 4? Was verwirrt? Aha, gefunden. Hinauf. Push the button. Und Nummer 5 ist ganz am Ende gewesen. Mal gucken, wo es hingeht. Oh, es ist auch grell hier drin. So. Ähm, 0142 Interessant. Offline, 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 offline. Gibt es ja keinen online? Und... Nichts passiert? Why? Ach, geht okay, das. Das muss auch irgendeine Bedeutung haben. Und du gehst zu. Nee, du gehst nicht zu. Awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, <laughs> nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. 
running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. Might. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy 